Yeah, hi, Mrs. Webb. It's Keith again. Uh, Mr. K, Lamont's teacher. I tried you a couple times already, but uh, you know what? I thought I'd just see if you guys are home. So yeah, I'm on my way already. No need to call back. I'll just see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye. Amigo, solo un dólar, amigo. Yo, I'm down with SpongeBob and uh, Tweety Bird, man, but I can't do lactose anymore. I gotta run. <laughs> hey, say hello to my little homie Lamar, okay? My bad, man. I didn't see you there, bruh. Ty Reed, bring the nice man inside. He's deep frying like a goddamn hush puppy out there. And you better close that goddamn door. Damn electric bill. <laughs> Come on in. Sit down. Sit down. Ooh, what a handsome young man. <laughs> if I'd have had you for a teacher, I never would have paid attention in grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you letting me stop by, Mrs. Webb. I wanted to come and introduce- Tyree! Bring our guest some sweet tea. Poor man sweating like a damn hog, about to turn into a pork rind. <laughs> Finally meeting the famous Keith. Lamont always coming home talking about Mr. K pretty lit for a teacher. Mr. K is woke <laughs> for a white boy. <laughs> Thanks, man. I know why you're here. You worried about Lamont. Oh, no. Lamont is just such a special little dude. Yes, I know, baby. I guess too. I'm just a bit curious. When a student's attendance starts to get inconsistent, especially a gifted little guy with a lot of potential, it starts to pose a few questions. Is there anything here in the neighborhood or in his home environment that could be contributing to him not coming to school. You ain't even touch your sweet tea. Ain't nothing like grandma's sweet tea. As I'm sure you've experienced yourself, both growing up as a woman and a POC in America, there's just, there's a lot of, <coughs> there's counter for, a lot of counter forces to success in an urban. Mrs. Webb, are you okay? I'm fine, baby. It's just some of them counter forces. Now, you may think that I am old fashioned, but I think. Some good old homeschooling is just what a growing boy needs. There are some things that his grandma can teach him about who he is that he won't get in no class. I'm gonna 
experienced educator of at-risk youth, Mrs. Webb. Now, I mean you, no offense, but I am not here to debate pedagogical methodology. Then why are you here today, Mr. K? I'm here because Lamont is like a little brother to me. Oh, please, John. You know, he is one absence away from losing his scholarship. I ain't even offered you nothing Good to old eat. homeschooling. Tyree! Is the only school he's gonna have. Look, if he's not in class Monday morning, 8 a.m., I'm gonna call social services and find him somewhere else to live for a while. Tyree, but would you put some music on? I still have my blind 
definitely judge Tyrese Grill. But that's cool. He doesn't need to describe the white cultural norms. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything we've done to your people. Look at me. It's all right, baby. Deep breaths. Go, go ahead and drink, child. Just a frosty glass of ice water. Tyree gave you the wrong picture of sweet tea. The one with grandma's medicine in it. You were saying some local chick got on. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> <laughs> we work on this castle with grandmoms all week for the project you assigned us. Thought you'd be down with it. I'm, I'm down. I'm what? I'm down. And don't you worry about nothing. Lamont will be there Monday, first thing. Get back. Take care of yourself, sugar. See you, Mr. K. Tell your ass down early, but you was tripping hard. What kind of medicine was that? I ain't catch everything you were saying, but the money ain't your little brother. He mine, you feel me? Yeah. 